Hey, Wayne here. I've got a little thing here I want to show you that I'm working on. Um, with my face jugs, sometimes I put snakes on them. So I want to show you a little bit of how I do the scales on the snakes. When I started, I couldn't figure out how to do it and had to come up with an idea. I got a lot of good suggestions, but I just couldn't get them to look the way I wanted. So I'm going to show you a little bit what I did. Is I went to the craft store, um, Michael's I believe it was, and they had some little clay tools and this little wire tool. And I got it and I shaped it sort of the way a scale looks a little bit with a little point on it and so forth and bend it so I could go down on the clay um, like this, you know, just sort of. And then each time I would move it a little bit. And it gave me a little bit of a scale appearance, if you'll see that. And so I'm going to show you my snake here that I've been working on. Hadn't finished with, but, um, and I'm going to keep the video going as I work a little bit. So just enjoy it, and I'll talk a little bit as we go. So here we go. So this is my snake. And this is a, supposed to be a hog nose snake. He's going to go on. Uh, face jug that I did, and I'll show you my face jug here. This is a, a boar face jug, so you'll see that. That's my old, old boar. I'm gonna put my face, my snake with him, and so I'm gonna get a little bit closer here. Let me move to the other side and let's adjust it. Let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. So you can see this is not a fast process. It is a little slow. So one thing I don't like about it, but I like the look of it. It's a little bit more detailed. And when I indent into the clay with my tool, when I put my glaze over it, it sort of levels it out, but it still leaves the appearance of the scale. So it gives that sort of realistic look. And with my scales, I alternate them. When I have two together, I come sort of the middle of those two behind it and do my next one. And this snake here is probably about oh three and a half feet long, somewhere there about. I haven't measured it, I just sort of made it to about the length I wanted him. Now let me say one thing about snakes. My wife hates snakes, so she don't really like me doing snakes, but she don't complain when somebody buys them. So, this guy here, along with my pig there, is going to be hosted for too long, so she don't want it, so take advantage of that, bid on it, buy it. Be glad to, she'll be glad for you to do that. So you can see it is a slow process. And I'm going to stop there. So I just wanted to go to that little video there. And I hope you enjoyed that little tip. And if you ever decide to make a snake, that gives you a little choice. Some other things, other suggestions I have been given is take a the little bag that onions and oranges 
uh, fruit comes in, the little the little net bags, uh, and use those and wrap it around it, and you can do it a little bit quicker that way. It's not quite as detailed to be. Uh, or just take a, a pen tool and draw them with that, uh, which, again, that's just a, a slow way. So um, if you got any suggestions that I haven't come up with, post them. Uh, leave me a comment. I'd be glad to hear from you. It might be something to make it a little easier on me. Uh, and I appreciate it. And until next time, have fun. Um, I want to show you, you've seen the snake there as I was working on it. I also wanted to show you one that is about dry that I fixed on a face jug and give you a little bit more uh, sort of what it looks like. So I'm going to just show you that. And this is a face jug I did. And I took this guy and I got him a snake on him wrapped around him. So you can see there a little bit. I'm trying to get a little detailed close in. So you can see on the scales how the scales look. And to me it looks pretty realistic. This is a rattlesnake. There's this rattle there. And so one thing when you do snakes you have to be real careful in how you handle them because they will break easy when you have them like this one that are pieces sticking out. So you have to be real careful. Some people take their clay and they use what's called a paper clay, which is a little bit more durable and won't break as easy. So I want to just give you that a show. Oh yeah, well here's a few other my little little jugs and stuff I've done as well. My face jugs and my cups and mugs and so forth. And here's a few drying. It gives you a little look at those. A couple, some few pictures. There's a pig I just did. It's a different one than one while ago. This one is not going to have a snake on him. So, hope you enjoyed that. So, if you're a potter or just enjoy pottery, um, I give you a little tip. And have a great day. And we'll see you later.